look, considering we're on flow for regs, I think we should put on the regs. I feel shirt. like his name shouldn't be whatever it was. I think it should be Dolly Joey. It's t- too late now, buddy. Well, I think that's a way better name, so I'm going to call him Dolly Joey from now on. <laughs> See, by next time we say I don't play this, you're going to have forgotten that. I'll call him something else. <laughs> call him Steamy Stevie. So, are you going to call him Dolly Joey right now, or Stevie Stevie? Oh gonna call him doughy joey okay because he that's what he looks like doughy joey yeah because he looks kind of like he looks kind of chubby but he's also i feel like he you made him he, malnourished he looks doughy his face is, is fat enough you yeah, did give him kind of a fatty face yeah so i'm gonna say call him doughy joey okay sounds like a plan stan plan stan is that gonna be his new name me too do house slide with the pole down. i concur yeah, I actually did it. I'm surprised. Did the Gerald Ford. The what? Did the Gerald, Gerald Ford. The Gerald Ford? Yeah. Okay. Dude, 37th President of the United States, Gerald Ford. I did it. He's dead, yeah? Oh, he's, he's dead. <laughs> there we go. Now I want to see if he's actually the 37th President of the United States. I would be really <laughs> proud if he was. I, I don't think he was. That's eight presidents down. Yeah. I don't know why, but it's, it feels much harder to play this game on camera. Like I feel a lot more self-conscious about how I play. Is it wrong to know more, a lot more about presidents than it is about prime ministers? But like a lot, lot more. Say that again. Is it is it wrong to know to be an Australian and then know like Ooh. most of the the presidents in, from the nine from the nineteen hundreds, but know about three prime ministers? You just haven't cared. I mean, like, it's just not as big of a deal. I mean, it's true. But... I think most people know most of the presidents from the 1900s. Oh, oh it was one off. Yeah, 37th was Nixon. So what was he? he oh, you are one off. He was 38th. Ah, oh, look at you, you clever little boy. Close. You were close. Ford <sighs> forward to be 93. Okay. Jimmy Carter is still 93. He's still alive. You know what, Scooby Doo can do do, but Jimmy Carter is smarter. Where would be a good spot? I, mean, I don't think George Bush is gonna. I don't think George Bush Jr. is gonna last much longer. No. That, uh, no way. That his wife is dead. Yeah. I'm good here. I got what do you do if George Bush came to the house and he's like, I'm afraid I want to die in your bed? I'd say no. Please, Braden. Give me all of your money and then yes. Now it's buying a new bed. I can't. That won't no. let me. I can give you this. I can give you this apple. No. This shiny red apple. No. <laughs> Just eat it. No. Put it in your mouth. No. Get the fuck away from me, dude. I don't want it. I want your goddamn apple. But then what if like he just started oh, like that? Okay. Like he just. No. What? He just like he just looked so upset and then he just started collapsing within himself. What do you mean collapsing within himself? As in like he like he just like collapsed within himself. Like imagine like he, if he was. It's like a really flimsy material. <laughs> like, like if he was completely hollow. Well, then I would just assume he's gonna die right there. You don't need to die in my bed. No, he would die right there. But oh, no, we got fuck. A bunch of spiders came out. Thousands of spiders came out. Oh, leave. And then I guess at that point, I mean, at that point, I would think that he was a witch. Because <laughs> he would, he offered me a shiny red apple, and when I said no, <laughs> he collapsed within himself. And now it came thousands of spiders. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Oh. What'd you do if it like a like a like a presidential meeting, like Donald Trump? He made the announcement, and like he made like like a big announcement. But then he's like at the end, he's just like he, he turns and he he tells everyone he's a witch, and then he like, <laughs> pulls out like a broomstick and he flies away. And he puts on a big witch's hat. <laughs> Fuck! I don't want a three sixty hard with that. Fuck it. I'm grateful for you. God damn. Oh, that's the funniest thing, presidents being witches. <laughs> okay, I just want to fucking hard flip this and tray flip out of the other thing. So imagine like Ronald Reagan the other. Putting on a big, wearing a big witch's outfit with a big long green nose. Flying away. Fuck, I very fucking... Snatching it, up yeah. kids. Snatching up kids. I'm sure most presidents could do that anyway. Snatch up kids. Yeah, snatch up kids. If they wanted to. I mean, that's what they do. Yeah, but no, yeah, no. You have to tell me twice. It's a conspiracy. It's just, they, 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 that's what they do. They snatch up the kids. They do. You see, see, see. That's the thing. Because the presidents, they're just really, they, they, they just, re- they're just pedophiles. They're really, 
really don't want to get caught. So you see, you're saying this. You're saying it as if it's not common knowledge. Yeah. Like, like of course, this happens. See, I, I love this because like you go out and film, film for their team video, and then you don't get to see what the video was. And so it's just like them being like, man, that was a great part. You did absolutely amazing. I like the part with the skateboard. But I mean, I guess it wouldn't be too hard just to watch it. Because I mean, I can just put all the footage together and just watch it. Mm. There you go. I'm going to do that. Here you go. This is what the video actually looked like. My little monkey jumping on the bed. One fell off and um, he head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said No more monkey jumping on the bed Oh little monkey jumping on the bed One fell up and boom he dead Well wasn't that exciting kids? Do I want to do all the skateboard mag challenges first and then go on to Thrasher or do I want to just do them as I please? Think. You know that Grover Cleveland was really fat like did twice as a Democrat. Benjamin Harrison came after that, and then it's William McKinley up to that. <laughs> Sing the mediocre president song. Uh, we, we are, are the mediocre presidents. presidents. You won't, won't see our faces, faces on dollars or on cents. There's something and something and something, something, something. There's William Henry Harrison. I died in 30 days. days. I almost said 80 days, but I'm thinking of around the world in 80 days. <laughs> <laughs> We are the adequate, forgettable, occasionally <laughs> regrettable. I don't remember after that. Oh. So like how Anika and I, we watched part eight today of Friday the 13th. Yep. Which is uh, Jason Takes Manhattan. Mm -hmm. And I completely forgot that pretty much half that movie takes place on a boat on the way to Manhattan. It's, it's pretty good boring. Setting. It sounds like it'd be a good setting, though. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. It's just not executed very well. I like how... I like the idea. Like, cause I like the idea if you're on a boat and it's just a killer. Yeah, but it's like, it's called Jason Takes Manhattan. You expect oh, yeah. to see Jason... It should be called Jason Kills People on a Boat. Exactly. It's kickflip. I want, I want, I want, yeah. I want, Jay, I want like, Jason... Kick I want flip. the Friday the 13th movies, but they, they, they just put Jason in random settings around, like, put him on the Titanic. I'm trying to think of a trick to do. I'll go hill flip, nose blunt. I want to see Jason J Jason in World War 2 he'll flip yeah that'd be cool he'll flip back nose no fuck but he, he go around killing but he's like the good guy he goes around killing Nazis oh yeah that's fine or he could be the really bad guy he could be going around killing Jews he'd kill everybody I really don't think he'll have like a yeah that'd be interesting I'd like to see what? that World War 2 he's in like World War 2 Germany now that's a movie Nazi Germany <laughs> I like to imagine there's a scene well, like, it's like there's, there's, there's Jewish people and they're hiding up and then, like, the Nazis come and they catch him and then Jason comes and he kills the Nazis and Jewish is like, oh, thank God, you <laughs> saved us! And then he kills him as well. Great. I can't fucking... I can't heel flip into a back nose point. I like to imagine, like, this, like, it's just really easy for him to come back to life. It is! He gets brought back by lightning. He gets brought back by electricity twice. Fucking Twice. Oh, uh, why did I pause it? I fucking landed it. Oh, but I didn't get enough points. Fuck it then. Um, no, oh, he just brought one where like a bat, like like someone like, like he's dead, and then someone drops a battery on him, and he comes back to life. It's like, oh, the battery charged me back up alive <laughs> again. And you find out that he's just a robot. Maybe Jason. Maybe that's it. Maybe Jason's just a robot. That was disappointing. That was, that was a disappointing trick. See, the annoying thing about this is like I want to do shit that looks somewhat realistic but also just cool but sometimes like the realistic shit just doesn't give you enough points so you have to do like crazy like fucking like just fucking 360 flip three front side 360s and then like into a nose manual into like a fucking nolly burial out and it just doesn't make sense it just sometimes i want to do a front side flip over a picnic bench so what's jason doing hell he just kind of hangs out really i feel like i mean if, if it was up to me i'd make him like he tries to kill satan so yeah, that would be cool I just like that idea that Jason will just kill anybody and everybody he doesn't care he pretty much does he doesn't give a fuck yeah I just want to see it like like he just tries to kill Satan I like to see it where it's done where he, like he's just like a bumbling fool where like he keeps trying to kill Satan but he just can't do it but he doesn't get the concept that's uh. like he just won't like like he'll try to go to Satan and then Satan just like 
rips his fucking like all his limbs off or something and then he's just like no I'm just gonna come for you <laughs> um I mean, part 8 has like the it's like Looney Tunes yeah uh, part 8 has like a really cool like ma- like unmasked Jason cause he's like face is like fully melted and like really deformed and it looks really fucking cool and at the end he gets like he gets engulfed in toxic waste and like it does like a flashback to when he was drowning as a child in, in the lake and he's like, Mommy, don't let me drown! <laughs> I, love it. I feel like that's like that's the first thing. He's like, No, I don't like... What if we send an Indian? No, I don't like this! No! <laughs> you know what? I'm surprised we're in regular stance right now. Usually all games of skate are in, like, goofy. This is boring, because you just set a trick and they fuck it up. I want a, J- I want a Friday the 13th movie with Jason's voice by Wallace Shawn. 